Hello, stream. Zan, how's the DK going? Got uh, Scalpy joining me on comms. G'day. Boy. Hi, Catherine, actually. You seen much of this matchup, these two play? Oh, it's always exciting. It is. I'm not sure if Kath has ever taken a set in time. I have to check this out. Yeah. <laughs> need the head, need the head to head. I love it. Is that oh that is something you can just check. Of course we have the we have the technology. Good on him. Seriously. It's, it's, uh, oh wow that was an insanely ambitious update. And it felt like Kath might have even just saved him. <laughs> I'm not sure. I guess not. He was high up enough that he wouldn't have drift back. Oh man, there's so much chat while I'm <laughs> going so far. That's true, um, Zen. In fact, now that you've had that realization about DK, so I discovered that DK is actually horrendous and scapegoats me as a player from um, criticism. I was like, that, that's a really important realization. You can actually go further down on the tier list to further scapegoat yourself from criticism. Kai is 55 3 against Kath, according to Rain. Jeez. Is... Yikes. But the thing is, like, that score makes it sound like, oh, 58 3. Um, that score makes it sound like it's not close, but at least every time I've seen him play, it always feels like, ah, oh, this could almost be yeah, I mean, Cass like, thing. But... This doesn't even feel like a mismatch game. No. But so it's like we're always waiting for that Cath upset, because it is still going to be an upset at this point. Like... Oh, nice. Pretty easy. Now we're up. I mean, they always end up scrapping a bunch, and uh, <laughs> Kath just ends up slightly losing out on the trades, like, pretty oh. consistently. Like. She swings. Oh, yeah, like, going for that fair there was very... If it hit, would have been amazing, but it did not. Now yeah, she's behind a percent. Three wins is very valid against Kai. Consistent player. That's it. That's oh, whenever Smash Attack gets cancelled out by Shine. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, yeah, geez. unfortunate. God, that was Sometimes if I think someone, if I'm playing a Spacey, I think someone's going to Smash Attack me, I'll just like multi Shine with the intention of like <laughs> one of these Shines will probably clank with the Smash Attack. A couple of star points. <laughs> yeah. It'll count. <laughs> Ooh, FD, such a. Such a rough stage to be a spacey. Yeah, yeah, it really hinges on the chain grab now. Um, but Falco has gun. Falco does have gun. That's the cool thing about, uh, like, Fox on this stage has pretty strong combos. Falco has strong combos and gun. That's pretty cool. But, yeah, there's, there is this. Let's let's see if Gav actually... Oh, there's... Yeah, the, the finisher is the hard part, as far as I understand. Like, get a bit dicey. Where you get that much knockback, there's like so much room to DI around. Yeah. Oh, man, that should be a stun. Nicely done. Going through our infantry. Yeah, but <laughs> really interesting to see if, um, if Kat can get those consistent chain grabs. This is something that can transfer over to later stages in the set as well, because it's still something you can do on like Pokemon Stadium, Dreamland. Um, yeah, I found out the other day, like, Pokemon Stadium is, like, longer than Final Destination. Yeah. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, so discounting the side plats, it's potentially, like, more, more horrendous. Oh, that was... That was so bad. Yeah. Dot eyes in the game. Okay. You wonder badly enough. Oh, 
just for that. No, it's it might be intentional because uh, imagine like optimal rest punish. You just stand at like phantom hit distance on down <laughs> smash. <laughs> just do a bunch of down smashes. So the, the eternal question with a phantom hit is like, was your spacing too good or just not quite good enough? Uh, I don't know. When you like phantom knee and you see the sparks and no one goes anywhere, it's like really just a shame. All right, so one one, yeah. which we should be updating the score. Yes, sure. Yeah. Kai is very keen for these down airs. Just, I think that was two stocks that game. Just sending them. Did that work? I never understand this thing. Well, like it's not updated. Uh, yeah, it's one one. That's what matters. Yeah. You all can count. We can keep count for you. Final game. It's, uh... Uh, is it or is it best of five? Oh, like, it's best of five now, I think so. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. That's the Yoshis. Yeah. Kai is so clean with this. A lot of people will be tempted for a back air there, but... Yeah. It's just a poor yeah. decision. Oh. Jeez. Yeah, it's funny, playing against Kai all the time primes me to like whenever I'm up there on Yoshi's Story or Pokemon Stadium, like, oh yeah, I'm super dead here. And then I'll play against a Falcon on ranked and they back at me and I think, what are you doing? But really that it, like it is pretty like ballsy to always be going for the vertical kill. Like, Kai makes it look easy, but Oh man, excellent patience from Kai. Yeah, that was there. really good. Oh, such a tiny little tiny little grab. It's <laughs> <laughs> probably gonna be able to hold on to the stock for any longer. Oh, man. He, he, he seems like he's back into it. I mean, I think he was a bit rattled that FD game. Kind of ready yeah. to ride that one off pretty early. Oh, this might be the same sort of thing for. I mean, I know from personal experience, sometimes playing against uh, Kai on this stage as a floaty, it just feels like, oh, this is a write off too, because like getting shined off the top at like 60% feels really brutal, yeah. And you just sit there and double, triple, multi shine, just as long as he needs to, until you think he can jump out or drop his shield. <laughs> Falcon's got really crazy pressure on like that, the fact that his auto cancel back air hits through the side platform and he can like up tilt the side plats and stuff. It's, yeah. All those beautiful mix ups with the, the like floating backflip. Oh. Very impressive. He is a cool character. He really is. So this is, to, this is to me like one of the best, if not the best matchup in the game, I think. It's actually really just sick to watch the characters duke it out. Right? Both have really different game plans, but... Mm. I feel like the lasers actually like add a lot to this matchup. Yeah. Yeah, compared to like a Captain Falcon or something where it's like the lasers lock down your ground movement so much, Peach is like, well, I can float. Yeah. Yeah, it, it gets interesting <laughs> from that. Alright, so it's 2-1 uh, two two Kai's favorite first, so far. Where now? Under Dreamland? Uh, either Dreamland or Fountain, surely. Fountain? Yeah, I could see Stadium. Oh, uh, it's got a low ceiling as well, I guess. Yeah, and I think yeah, Dreamland makes sense. Um, <laughs> You're just, if Falco's out of recovery, it's so outclassed here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so very different to like the FD game, obviously she was banking on the chain grab, now it's going to be banking on essentially living a lot longer, like you want to be killing Falco at like 60% and you're going to be living to 150 or something is the, the ideal. Yeah. You can really get like slugging here, you know, if you're taking hits, it doesn't really matter because you can just swing. Oh. <laughs> Really good combo. Oh. But does quite close it out. Another great recovery from Cat. That's just beautiful. <laughs> and here's the chain grab, which you got plenty of time to practice on FD. Oh, oh excellent oh, angle. Great angle. Oh, 
Yeah. Uh, gonna want to take this quickly because it is, even though Dreamland is uh, there we go. Dreamland is Peach's stage, but it means Falco's gonna be living longer as well. Yeah, works a, works both ways. Yeah. But I mean like Peach has a bit of a hard time getting up and around the side flats. You can't really just kinda whip yourself up there like you can the other characters as easily. I think like in theory Falco could platform camp like Peach and other characters quite hard here, but it just doesn't really happen. For like, no Falco main has that sensibility to be like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna sit on top platform for eight minutes. Like, <laughs> that's such a good thing for the game. Man. Yeah. <laughs> there's actually there's an old school set of West Balls versus Armada where West Balls is winning by doing that strategy, and then he just like abandons it at a certain point. Yeah. He cracks. He cracks under his own pressure. <laughs> See, that's the alternate universe where Wizzy picks Falco instead. It's just, yeah, he, he doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, Zan's it's right, she hasn't been uh, landing her edge guards. And against Falco, you gotta make him pop like a balloon when he gets hit. Yeah. I mean, from like the pitch perspective, it seems like a pretty flow charty edge guard. Like, I mean, you know, angles always make everything difficult, but. Float here. And, yeah, yeah, like th those kind of things feel like maybe that could have just been lapped out a little bit harder. Um, there's definitely mix ups in play. I think part of it's like you don't, it's so scary to get reversal by the side B, even though it kind of shouldn't happen. It puts you on this like extra bit of edge that, like, oh my god, even like, you know, they're at 180%, I'm at zero, and I still have to be scared going for this edge guard because if I mess up, it's dude, spiked. Dude, he's, he's, Falco's oh taking off. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> Alright, was... uh, I believe I'm up. Alright. Good fun. Good to have you, mate. Good luck. You're up against Kai?